happy sunday and welcome back to my channel okay welcome back um uh, i am a dressed face beat girl i just got finished filming a wig review not this wig this is an old wig you've seen this one countless times i'll have it linked down below in the description box for you but i just reviewed a wig for Shein. it was actually really cute it was 26 inches long bone straight bust down i just didn't want to wear it because i have been wearing long straight hair for weeks now so i'm back into my curly hair i really love my curly hair because it's just so low effort low maintenance and it just looks great um yeah i'm wearing my shein outfit that you saw yesterday in my shein haul try on video upload i'm going to show you that i was trying to figure out what kind of purse i was going to carry today if i want to do a purse to match my shoes because i'm wearing a louis vuitton laureate boots they're kind of like a combat boot hiking boot with a chunk heel on them it's really cute or do i want to keep carrying my red tail far back though it's not red it kind of matches my lipstick i think i got corned beef yeah but anyway speaking of tail far friday girl they had a flash sale because i signed up for their mailing list click the link everything was i was at work though I clicked the link. Look, everything was truly in stock. Um, about 45 minutes later, when I went back to the link, it's like the sale had been like closed or either everything sold out. I don't think everything sold out that fast. I think they just sold what they wanted to sell and then closed the flash sale because I think that's really how flash sales work. You just got to be real fast to get in on the deals but nothing was on sale everything was normal price but they just had everything available for that short period of time i did snag um a chocolate brown one so i'm excited about that uh even though i talked all that smack about these bags and now i'm gonna end up having four of them but this is my absolute last one i'm just really doing it for the culture and plus the bag has grown on me i think it's a nice um practical tote bag you know vegan leather easy to clean it's just cute it's just a cute bag so i'm gonna let me just stop talking let me just show you my look all right so uh, this is the bag that i'm carrying and you've seen these boots on my channel before too and i thought there was just a cute little you know add of a designer to our super chill look all right, so this is the entire look. I like it. I don't know if y'all started the whole Wendy Williams documentary that started last night. That was part one. Tonight is part two. But girl, I just feel so sorry for Wendy. Whether it be flying her back and forth on private planes or even paying for appointments, it was all under one American Express. I'm luxurious and gorgeous. And I care for my family. You heard Wendy. Um, I think the amount of what gets me is that how she's not understanding why she's on a conservatorship when her nephew just said that her son's Uber Eats bill a month was over a hundred thousand dollars a month. Like who like what? What kind of foods are you eating? A hundred thousand dollars a month on Uber Eats and DoorDash? That's just ignorance. I don't care how much money a person has. That's just stupid. That's just pure ignorance. Girl, if you have not started watching this, just watch it. Now, mind you, Wendy, even in her condition, she is still being a jerk in this. But it's just ridiculous, though. I just thought that you put in the bank at some point. Cash. You got at least about 10 foot. She asked you. Nigga, you're the manager. So why do you have doubt? Okay, so they just asked his ass, is, does he think that she's ready? She can't even hold a full thought. These people are definitely playing in Wendy Williams' face and taking her checks. They know she's not ready for nothing. But y'all, Diamond just walked in. All right, here's Diamond. Hello. Happy oh. Sunday. <laughs> you ready to go eat these foods? I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready too. Ready? All right, guys, we are on our way not sure where yet but i think i think we're going to go to seasoned kitchen and cocktails in that madison stay tuned you know you're going to 
Unless you can pay it for me. Y'all know I'm not opposed to going to Waffle House. Waffle House is the original brunch spot. You know, I love Waffle House. Waffle House is that girl. I love Waffle House now. But I don't want to. I don't want to. Even though I could go for that old All Star. Oh, that steak and cheese milk you with a waffle. Like I, I probably do low key, but I also want to go check out this spot that I've never been, been to because I know what the Waffle House looks like. Everybody know what the Waffle House look like. We know what they food tastes like. We're gonna try something different today. We're gonna try something different. So y'all, this is where we're going. This is seasoned kitchen and cocktails, y'all. The experience at the little brunch spot, mm, we child. The food looked pretty, it was very pretty, but the taste. All right, guys, we are at Parkway Place Mall. I have not been here in so long. And I used to work at the information desk. Yep, this is where I used to work. Get off my first job and come over here and sit at the information booth. And when y'all be asking me where I get my little, my rings and stuff from, from these little jewelry places like this in the middle of the mall. And sometimes like my Chanel charm, I get those from these type of gold dealers. been to a mall in forever. I don't know why I just said that because we was just at the mall in Birmingham. All right, so now I'm gonna wanna go into this fragrance store. I don't trust these kind of stores. In my head, all this shit is fake. I be feeling like that. That's how I be feeling. I don't know though. I could be wrong, but I don't know. All right, your mother wants us to go in Belk. She's looking for something specific. So we're gonna go and see what they have. crossbody yeah the denim one is real cute yeah right, we just made it to the Rossy Ross then we're gonna make our way down to the TJ Maxx
what Ross got going on in here today. All right, guys, we're on our way to the TJ Maxx. All right, so let's look at the bags. Oh, yeah, that is gorgeous. I think we did because like, there's one of those, that blue bag, which is like over on the little closet. Mmm, this one's really pretty. It's 104. Joe Malone dupe. It is cute. Very cute. Yes. And the little bulldog. <laughs> Two little cars here. That's kind of a good thing. I used to always want to live up there on the hill in those townhouses. These aren't new? No, these are old as hell. They've been here for forever. Ever since I've been in Huntsville, they've been here. That used to be Buffalo Wild Wings. No, that did. Firehouse used to be. We gotta go in the Dollar Tree down. I gotta see what they talking about. All right, so we're gonna check out the Dollar Tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't mind at all. That's not a thing there. Yeah. That's a cute. Yeah. 
Y'all, I need some mousse. That one, your VO5. That is the best for detangling and co-washing, the VO5. I don't see my mousse. Yes, I do. I better get two cans. The best mousse ever. I wanted to see, I mean, witch hazel. I need micellar water for my eyeliner. There's some scrub down there, but it ain't Freeman's. I need some batteries. Just made it to Target. It's been a minute since I've been in Target, though. Definitely a minute. Here is the Black History items this month for Target. This one doesn't have very many. It's a little lackluster. The tote bag is cute. Good morning guys happy monday um it is after 10 but i've been up since about 7 30 a.m just doing miscellaneous stuff for myself at work i had the worst headache ever and i already know what it's from it's from having those drinks yesterday at um seasoned kitchen and cocktails in huntsville well madison huntsville i think that's zoned huntsville i think that's huntsville but yeah, that always does it for me when I go to these little hole in the wall spots and these little, you know, restaurants outside of, you know, your Outback and your Longhorn. I always get the worst headaches when I have those type of drinks, but they be so good though. But I wake up like feeling like this. So I've already had my caffeine and my goodie powder. So my headache is subsiding a lot, but now I'm going to go get something to eat. Bojangles, chicken biscuit with them Cajun bow rounds. So that's what we're going to do and chill for the rest of the day. And then I know that I'm going to soak these. Well, I'm going to cut them down first and then soak off the gel. So I can just pry these on up and do a different set. I want to do the almond French nails with some rhinestones. I want to bling out my nails a bit because I haven't had a bling set in so long. And Diamond's nails was so cute to me yesterday. She had bling almond set on and I loved it. She had one nail blinged on each hand, but I won't, I won't like two, two or three. I want to go all out. I love the bling bling. I just don't wear it as much as 
I should, considering how much I love it. So that's what we're going to do. And it's going to be a chill day for the rest of the day. And I got to clean up in here. I definitely have to clean up. I have to. It's a must. All right, girl. These Shein joggers are about to come in handy. We just threw on the gray ones. Putting on the stretchy, so comfortable a denim jacket from Shein. Love this girl. When I tell you it is so comfortable. I love it, love it, love it. Um, sneakers on the feet. Our white Nikes. You guys were with me this summer when I got these. I love these. Perfect throw on Nikes. So comfortable. Love these. So let's go eat. Doing pretty good. You? Thank you. You too. We're going to go ahead and work on my nails because they're down so good. There's really no point in me soaking these off because they are down. But what I am going to do is just reshape them and buff the tops so that they are easy and receptive to taking um, the gel color. So that's what we're going to do. I've already taken the top coat off of most of these on this hand. So I only have two left that are still shiny. But I'm going to go through them and just buff them all real good. That's the beauty in having these um, Gel X nails. They last so long and you can switch them up just as you could with acrylic nails. So I'm just buffing them right now and making sure that I'm getting the backs of them super smooth. And this is that very same set from three weeks ago. And you see how good they look still. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to put the Wendy Williams documentaries back on so I can finish watching those from last night. And you guys are going to see me do my nails. I'm so excited for this. I said that I was going to keep going with the French, but I was like, you know what? I do French all the time. So why not just buff these out and get these in a great place for paint? And we're going to save a little time. But this is how they're looking right now. And then I'm going to use the primer and a dehydrator. Put on a base coat. And then we're going to paint. How my nails look now that I've buffed and shaped them. This took me about 10 minutes. I'm pleased with the shape. It's good enough for me. I like them. Add our dehydrator and a primer. So this is the nail color that we're going with today. Now this company has since changed their name. Their new name is Nail Star. I'll have their information linked down below. I also have a package from them with some of their latest colors with their new branding on it. But Nail Star is their new name. I'll have it all linked below. But yeah, now we're gonna go in with our primer and dehydrator. I'm gonna go in with the dehydrator first. We're giving nail salon vibes over here. You don't really even have to do this on these um these fake nails though for real. And on this hand, I've I've taken off a few of the nails because they need a little work. We're gonna replace those. Like I said, this step is just optional you don't have to do this i want to go in with a base coat and 
then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. I'm just gonna do one good layer. Right now I'm gonna just cure it, 60 seconds. This color is so pretty to me. It's so bright, so red. I'm gonna cure these for just about 60 seconds. While my nails are curing, this is the rhinestone glue that I'm going with. Picked this up recently from Amazon just because I wanted to try something different. I have so many different types of rhinestone adhering product, but you can use your base gel because that's normally what I 
would use or either the really sticky base gel that comes in the little jar but this is how the nails look right now so we're gonna go ahead and try out the product like this this is what I normally use it comes in this and it's just really thick if you've seen my previous nail videos you've seen me use this many a times and this still works just as great and I have all kinds of gems and stones for the nails and these are from Amazon and other miscellaneous um, China based websites I'll have quite a few of them linked down below for you I have learned that all gems are not the same plastic ones do not shine as pretty as the glass ones so when you're ordering make sure you're getting glass ones flat back glass ones like these girl they just shine so pretty you just kind of get creative with your rhinestone placement you do what you like or you can go to instagram or pinterest and look at some inspo i think i'm gonna go with this shape and I kind of just line them up in the jar as to how I might want to see this look on my fingers yeah I like that and you don't want to put too much you don't want it to look real thick and gooey Of course, while it's still wet, you can kind of maneuver them and move them around. And I'm just freestyling right now, trying to see what it is I think I might like. All right, so now that I like the placement, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it and put on my no wipe top coat. Okay, so this is how they turned out. You can try this at home or not. I like it. So yeah, I'm happy. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, girl. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. And there will definitely be another video. Bye.